Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Pachung. Um, I'm originally from uh, Mampreshok, which is also known as Bethel, uh, Alaska. I now live in Juneau. <laughs> Katun Blanchett loves music and performing. At a young age, he watched his mom perform in a dance group. And so my whole childhood, I was um, just kind of following uh, where my mom and 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 um, her peers were just being able to share the culture and that love of, of dancing. Passing on that same passion, Blanchett's been a performing musician for nearly 30 years with the group Bamiwa, a Yupik Inuit word meaning encore or do it again. <laughs> We kind of call it tribal funk, Inuit soul. Uh, we sing a lot of our songs in uh, in our Yupik language, um, and so expressing our our culture, our language, our ceremonies, our customs through music and and dance. A little nervous how elders would receive their sound, Blanchett recalls the moment he knew they were onto something when they performed in their hometown's Chamai festival. So when we finished that first dance, we stood up and we went up to the mics and we sang it in the way that it's done traditionally, but with no drums. And me, Philip and Aussie um, went up there and we were like, you know, and then we went, and then we sang it with that kind of soulful harmony. And in that moment, it's one of the most memorable moments of my career. Bamiwa would go on to continue sharing their message with audiences across Alaska and around the country. You really feel it and you get an understanding, even though if you're someone that doesn't understand the language, you get that feeling. Seeing that representation matters, in 2021, Ock Rock was born and is the only indigenous music festival in the States, something Blanchett says was a dream for decades and long overdue. This is about amplifying voices and, you know, underrepresented uh, voices in the music industry, and we're really uplifting them. Providing a foundation to continue keeping tradition alive, loving it, and never letting go. And that's what we try to impart in, in our performances, that we love this. We absolutely love this. For Telling Alaska's Story, Ariane Arambiro, Alaska's News Source.